Welcome everybody to round five of the S1 European Supermoto Championship. After the summer break, the championship prepared itself for the grand finale in Italy. The last round of the thrilling 2018 championship takes a visit to the Italian Alps and the highest situated village in Italy, Sestrieri. Formerly a host of the 2006 Winter Olympics, this picturesque venue will echo with the sound of the ultimate in supermoto machines across the race weekend. But well, what a better way to go and view the circuit if we go on board with Gabriel Gianola on the JRT Honda and Edgardo Barella on the SWM factory bike. So we're away from the start. Long sweeping left-hander. Very hard on the brakes then as we then sweep to the right. Circuit gets really tight here. And we're going to head up now towards a gravel section past the Alpine Chalets, left, right. Now onto this gravel section. We'll note on the circuit here that there are no jumps this weekend. Lots of stones flicking up there as we go back onto the tarmac. Now to a right-hander dropping down to the right onto a grass and dirt section. Short lap here at Sestrieri. Just under a minute. Sweeping left, again, now hard on the brakes for a bale chicane. And as we come into the, one of the main spectator areas, left, right, flick again. So a right-hander. And that is a lap of the circuit here at Sestrieri. Entering the final round here in Italy, Pavel Kemar retained a 15-point lead over factory TM rider Thomas Scherer. Scherer closed the gap down for the lead of the championship by winning in Greece. Third place, Phoenix Racing's Marcus Klass, though, is hot on the heels in third position. Saturday qualifying would see Klass take pole position by just over a hundredth of a second from Thomas Scherer. So the lineup would be Klass, Scherer, Bernard, Cousin, Sam Martin and Fath. We get race one underway. We go on board with Bernard. They're on third position on the front row as we see Fath coming through. They thunder into that first left-hander. On board with Fath. We have Class and Hermann in front. Over that gravel section, right, left. To now join the tarmac section again before the right hander. So, Cousin there makes a move on 98. So we're back on board in sixth position, but out in front it's Scherer and Class. Look at Class there, really chasing these points this weekend. So they've opened up. Quite a gap already. So as the leaders go through with Chirer, Class, the chasing pack then of Hermanen, Cousine, Fath, Bernard and Xaviers. As we go on board now with Fath. And in front of him, uh, we have some overtaking manoeuvres on that real slippery section as well there. Cousine in third position. Back in ninth, we have the championship leader, Kmar, right down the field. Kmar's really going to have to push on there as we go on board with Fath and the fight with Hermanen for fourth position. So fourth, it's Fath. Hermanen, Bernard and Xavier's in seventh. 
The Bernard makes a move there on Hermanen to take that fifth position. I think Hermanen had a little bit of a problem with his bike there. 1-3-1 one, one, Hermanen. Very tight. There with the, one of the most beautiful backdrops we've seen out of the whole championship. Kmart still down the back of that field. Wow, letting Scherer and Class open up an enormous gap at the front. And I don't think it'll be long before they're catching back, Margus. Oh, look like Xavier's gone. Oh, Xavier's gone down there. So Xavier takes a fall, but everything looks fine. Just the bent handguard jumps back on, and off we go again. But out in front, it's still Scherer and Class as the chequered flag comes out for the conclusion of race one with Scherer taking the win. So the final positions there as Hermanen comes along there to congratulate Scherer. It's Scherer from Class, Cousine, Fath and Bernard rounding out top five. been some great battles going on also outside of the top three and for fourth and fifth positions respectively the one between Milan Sitsniansky and Diego Monticelli we managed to catch a few words of them here in Italy on their thoughts on the championship So this weekend we have the last European Championship. Now I stay on the fourth position uh, in front of Diego Monticelli. He's really close, just three or four, four points. So it will be difficult. Very tough, difficult circuit. After a long time, we come back to the city track with all its tricks. Bells of straw and fans everywhere. However, I've had a good practice time and I'm confident for the race. It's quite hard for me, I'm kind of scared, but let's see what happens in the race. Actually, I'm fifth in the championship, but very close to the third place. So I'll do my best to catch the podium at the end of this championship. We get the final race of the 2018 European Championship underway. And it's Scherer that takes the whole shot into the first corner. As we go on board with Fath in fourth position. So Scherer and Class out in front already. Bit of a repeat from race one. Kmo, where's Kmo? Kmo's right back down in 10th position. So a lot to do for Kmo to regain some of these championship points. On board with Fath, as he overtakes Bernard. And Class on the Phoenix Racing, Husqvarna takes the lead from Scherer. So Class really pushing on hard now to take these championship points. As we look at Scherer goes wide. Scherer, has he made a mistake or is there a problem with the bike? It's Class right out in front now. Herman and down in sixth position. And Sitsniansky there in 11th. Scherer now being overtaken by Cousine. So losing out on some points here now, Scherer. 
That bike doesn't look to be on full throttle as normal when she is riding. Kmore and Sitsniansky. Kmore catching the back of Filippetti there. Oh, is Kmore now moving up the field? Or is he still having those difficulties? All to play for here in Sestriere. Battle for sixth position. So Martin and Xavier's there. Class way out in front though now with no sort of difficulties at all being encountered. A smooth ride here from Class. And Chires seems to have picked up the pace again now. So was that an intermittent problem with the TM? Packed crowd here in Italy. Beautiful scenery. What a great circuit to watch Supermoto from as we join yet again out in front. Chires made up one position. So the bike must be running again as we see a yellow flag. On board with Fath. As we come round though, and it is Class that takes the chequered flag here in Sestrieri in race two. The chequered flag there was already prepared for the S1 European Supermoto Champion of 2018, Thomas Scherer. As Pavel Kamar gives congratulations. But the standings after Sestrieri round, it's Marcus Klass, Thomas Scherer, Laurel Fath, and Bernard in fourth. So, Scherer there doing a celebration burnout to the packed crowd here in Italy. As we see Marcus Klass take the top step for round five of the European Supermoto Championship. And he's handed the winner's trophy from Gianni on Seth, the Deputy Mayor and Sports Council member. And Rodrigo Castro, the FIM Europe Jury President, hands the gold plate to Thomas Scherer. The crowd have certainly been entertained this weekend at this challenging and very different circuit here in Italy. But the S1 Championship podium for medals. The first place goes to Thomas Scherer. I'm very happy because uh, it was a very difficult weekend. Uh, I was second when I come here uh, for the, the last round and uh, take the title was uh, not possible for me. And uh, at the end, I take the, the title and I'm very happy. And, uh, I just want to say so to all uh, the team, the crew, and uh, see you to to some days in uh, for the Supermoto next year. What a thrilling year of Supermoto action, unforgettable, and a fight for the lead going right down to the last round. Just between three riders, really, but it was Shirea that takes the title from Pavel Kamar and Marcus Class only being split by one point between second and third positions. More action to come though in Spain at the Supermoto of Nations on the 30th of September, so why not join us then? As we see Thomas Scherer riding off into the distance now to join Team France, who will be one of the leading teams at Supermoto of Nations.